guys, how's it going? So today I have partnered with Bubble Brain Box and received this box to show you guys. I will have all of their links down below in my description bar so you can check them out for yourself. And if you watch until the end of the video, I will give you guys a code to use for your purchase. But right now, I want to get to unboxing this thing because I've had it since like Tuesday and I want to know what's inside of it. Just a second before I do that, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the company. Bubble Brain Box is a monthly subscription box that you get and they are children's toys designed to help your child's growth and development. Okay, let's open this thing. You guys get to be the first ones to see the actual inside of the box. Ta-da! I can't see anything. I can't see. Okay. So it looks like we have some reading material in here. It's a book. It says Bumble Brain Box on it, like that. And inside of it, okay, it gives you their mission. Our mission at Bumble Brain Box is to teach parents how to play with their child to help target areas of social, emotional, physical, cognitive, and auditory development. Okay, and then it tells you how to use it. I'm not going to read all of this to you because it's a book and I'm sure you guys don't want me to read this entire thing to you. But it goes through each activity and it tells you what it does and how it helps your child with its development. So this is the first reading material that we have. And it looks like we have a second one. Oh, okay. Okay, they're little cards. And... This is the toddler box. They have three different boxes. There's one for newborn, which I think is zero to three months. One for infant, which is four to 12. And then toddler is one to three years. But it has a preschool level. So I guess you could even use these toys for like up to five years, I guess. But again, I'm not gonna read all of this to you because this is like five different cards to read to you guys. So what I'm gonna do instead is tell you what the area of development is, what the activity is, and then just like very briefly tell you what you're gonna do. I'm gonna put this box down in order to do this. <laughs> okay, so this is the physical one. It says quill, so I guess there's gonna be a quill in here. The steps, you're going to trace letters and numbers into your baby's hand with the bottom of the quill softly to help promote early letter and number recogni recognition. I can't talk. Okay, and it says you could even like dip it in paint and draw with it so that's neat that's the physical one the emotional one it says silly stress ball and apparently we're going to have a silly stress ball and it just tells you what it does worry anxiety stress how we learn to deal with these emotions at an early age can train us to cope better as the stressors in our life become bigger in this activity we use the monster as a stress ball to squeeze and release the inner monster that we feel inside so that is for emotional this is auditory and it's gone fishing and uh the supplies is a ring of fish so i guess we're going to get that uh, the steps, ask your toddler to close his or her eyes or blindfold your toddler and ask him or her to move toward the sound as you rattle the ring of fish. Then review the colors of the fish in English and Spanish as well as count the fish out loud. Okay, so that is the activity for auditory. This is social. And it says pirate phonics. Supplies are pirate mask and sign language card. Steps. Wear the pirate mask and use the sign language card to begin teaching your child the ABCs. Oh, that's neat. Help your child sign each letter with his or her hands. Then as you practice each letter, also practice the sound of each letter and say pirate-themed words that start with that letter. For example, T for treasure. Okay, so that's the social one. And the last one is emotional. And this is the one for emotional. And it says treasure box and the supplies are coins. And it says, steps, allow your child to hold a coin. Then hand your child a toy in exchange for the coin. Pass the toy and money back and forth a few times. This helps introduce the concept of sharing in exchange. And that is the one for emotional. Oh. Oh, there is a sign language card. It was in this envelope. I didn't even see it. Okay, so there's the sign language card. And we have another piece of paper. It says, bubble brain box toddler assessment. I hope you guys can read that. Okay, so these are just like questions. Like, I'll read one question for each one because there's several questions. I'll just read one for each. Emotional development, how does your child react to the back and forth exchange with a coin and a toy? Social development, how does your toddler react to the pirate mask? Auditory development, is your toddler able to find the sound with his or her eyes closed? 
physical development. How does your child react to you tracing letters and numbers into his or her skin softly? And cognitive, is your child able to trace along the zigzag and straight lines of tape? Did I get a cognitive one? I didn't get a cognitive card, so I'm not really sure what to do with the cognitive one, but I guess it tells me here to uh, make zigzag lines with tape and to draw straight lines. Or maybe it tells me in the booklet right here, but I didn't read the entire booklet because I'm showing you guys this. So it might be in here, you guys. So that's my fault. Okay, let's look at the toys. Okay, so this is the quill. There's a green one and a blue one. And there's a boat. I don't remember anything about a boat. There's a little boat. Here are the coins. This is the pirate mask. This is really cute. How cute is that? It's got a little ring on its ear and everything. Here's the ring of fish. And this is the tape. And, and that's it. I didn't see a stress ball. I didn't see that. Is it in the boat? It might be in the boat. I don't know, because I, I didn't see the stress ball. No, it's not in the ball. It's not in here. Okay, so I didn't get a stress ball. I've looked, I've looked all in the box and there's nothing in the box. I'll just show you guys. There's nothing else in the box except this black stuff, which I don't want to get all over the floor, <laughs> but that's all that's in the box. And there's nothing in the pirate ship to hold the stress ball. It's just empty. See? So, I didn't get a stress ball. So first impressions, I'm not going to lie, I am kind of excited to see how the girls play with these and if they like them and just what their reactions in general will be to it. I noticed that not only did I not get a stress ball, but there is no card for the pirate ship, but it does tell you in here under cognitive in the book how to use the pirate ship. But it doesn't tell you anything about the stress ball in here. I'm still excited about it. There's still stuff in here that my toddler will really like. And I know I don't have an item and that's kind of a bummer, but I can use the rest of the stuff. So I'm not like completely bummed. I plan on doing a review video in one week to show you guys what I think of this and how it works and if I like it, you know, that kind of thing. Cause today was just the unboxing. It was just first impressions and what I think. But in one week, I'm gonna do an actual review and I will tell you guys what I thought and how the girls liked it and all that fun stuff. If you would like to get your own box and test this all out for yourself, my code is Kristen Hall. It will be down there in the description box so you can check it out. It's for 10% off of your first box. And I will see you guys Monday in the next vlog. Bye.